breakfast on the back of the boat. Welcome to today's video. Um, we're going to continue our trip towards Bradford on Avon. I know it seems like the most epic journey since a hobbit, some of his friends, and a wizard decided to go on a massive epic journey. Um, we have been travelling to Bradford on Avon now for about four weeks. <laughs> it's only five miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, five miles from Sellington, but uh, yeah, it seems like a thousand miles away. Um, so we thought we'd give you an introduction to this video um, because you know um, some of the pictures that you see on this on the, the coming video um, we think we need to explain that we are actually on our way to Bradford on Avon okay <laughs> so you'll see us go through um, what number of bridges is it oh now you ask me when I haven't got my 165 I don't know Mark quite a few bridges yeah it's 165 to 170 isn't it the um, between Sementon and Bradford on Avon it's five miles of no locks which we're not used to at all, are we? No, we're, we're used not. Used to lots of locks. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. A couple of swing bridges, I think. Yeah. And you that's get to it. ride on the front of the boat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so Julie gets a trip on the boat in this in this one. Oh. So you you'll see her head bobbing about um, as she, oh. you know, she changes the camera angles and so on. So um, there are a couple of boats moored in, so we say slightly um, awkward positions. The last yeah. scene, you'll see a yellowy boat which is moored with its uh, stern end sticking out. It doesn't look as bad on camera, but actually there, it's really right in the entrance of the bridge, isn't it? So we yeah. have to kind of go go around it. And the K&A from Semington to Bradford and Avon seems really, really shallow. The reeds come right in uh, about seven, eight foot. So you've only really got a bit of a channel in the middle, which is okay if you just go and buy as one boat, but if you've got a boat coming the other way, it causes a few problems, doesn't it? Yeah, it did. At one, we we didn't include it, but in, in one part behind two boats, we had to pull over, and um, a narrowboat came through. And as we pulled over, it ground. Um, but yeah, so um, hope you you'll enjoy the video um, and the footage. Hopefully, you'll enjoy some really blue skies and some lovely reflections. So you should get a good idea of what it's like to travel up and down the canals. We had a week of good weather, didn't we? Yeah, that was the summer for Britain. Um, <laughs> Seems like it. <laughs> it's over now. Um, we are lamenting the, the loss of summer because it's now 11 degrees and um, blowing a, a gale. It was 20, upper 20s, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think Nearly at one 30. point we registered 31 degrees or yeah. 29 degrees on the back of the boat. So anyway, um, enjoy the video and uh, we'll um, catch hopefully you later. catch you later. Yeah. Our brand new barbecue. <laughs> we decided to have a walk around Semington village and came across this 13th century chapel. This is Sleepy Semington on a misty morning. Beyond that bridge is the entrance to the Wilson Barks Canal clip coming up. Um, this ran um, for uh, 50 heavily locked miles to the Thames at Abingdon. Um, it was open in 1810, but unfortunately it closed because it was a narrow beam canal between two wide beam arteries. He's watching me, watching him.
this is the problem with the K and A. The reeds come about eight foot into the canal, and it's really shallow over that side. This is the approach to Hilperton Marina. Uh, we're coming up to bridge 166 which is the Hilperton Road Bridge. Um, as we went along we thought we'd film some of the houses that um, butted up to the canal. Um, there were some beautiful properties here, absolutely stunning and I think you'll agree on a nice hot sunny day with the green lawns and the sun shimmering on the water is so inviting and a lot of these houses have their own private moorings. As we approached, um, you could see some of them have got narrow boats moored up, some of them have got tyres on the walls there, um, and um, places to tie up narrow boats. Um, so yeah, we just thought we'd uh, share this beautiful piece of England. So we're just coming up to the bridge now. Um, this building on the uh, left-hand side, um, covered in the ivy, we thought was absolutely gorgeous. You know, it, it butts straight up to the canal. It almost reminds us a little bit of Venice um, as the water laps against the walls of the building itself. And then um, with the ivy-covered um, walls as well, it just looks so inviting. And as we go under the bridge, you'll see it's a particularly pretty um, scene. <laughs> 